Hi, I'm Roxy Ling. Welcome to Children's Church on Monday, October 5th, 2020. And it's another beautiful day out here. It feels like a perfect fall day, doesn't it? So it's a beautiful day that the Lord has given us. So thank the Lord and sing his praise. Hallelujah. So Father in heaven, we just thank you for a wonderful day today. We thank you for your gifts that you give us. Gifts of all kinds, Father God. Gifts of love, your love. Gifts of Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. Gifts of friends and family. And gifts of animals that you give us to take care of. There's so many gifts. We just thank you, Father God. There's so many gifts that we can't even count them. So thank you, Father God, for choosing us as your children. And we just thank you, Father God, for your wonderful grace and mercy that you give us each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. So our story today is about Noah. If you remember, Noah built the ark and it took him many, many, many years to build the ark. But God told him to build an ark because there was going to be rain coming and a lot of rain. So he had to build an ark big enough to have all the animals on the ark so they, they could be saved. Two of every kind of animal. So that's a fun story to read. So I will hope you're just as excited to listen to the story of Noah as I am to read it to you. So let's sing our songs and then we can get on to our story. And I think the story is a little bit long today. So let's sing our songs and get into our story. So the first song we'll sing is This Is The Day. And it's a short song, so we'll probably sing it through twice. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Should we sing that one more time? That's a fun song to sing. And it is a day, a beautiful day that the Lord has made. This is a day, this is a day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is a day that the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is a day, this is a day that the Lord has made. And we thank the Lord for this beautiful day that he has given us. It's such perfect weather out today. It's so beautiful out. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. So seek God first. Look after God first. Ask God first. Go to God first with every need that we have. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And that is a Bible verse. It comes from Matthew 6.33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. So God says, seek after him first. Not after riches or blessings or clothing or anything that we might get, but seek the Lord first and then he will make sure that we have everything that we want and need in our lives because God is so good and he wants us to have the best. Did you know that? God wants us to have everything good because that's what his word says. I am the church. I am the church. You are the church. We are the church together. All who follow Jesus all around the world. Yes, we're the church together. And it takes me and you and everybody in this entire world to be the church. The church is just a building. And if there weren't no people in that church, there'd be no church. It would just be a building, right? So the people, me and you, are the ones who make up the church. So that's a, I like that song too. Okay, our story is Noah. And we are in our new book, and I think this is only the third story so far in the book, People of the Bible. And our person today is Noah. And look at Noah. Look at how they drew Noah. Isn't that funny? Noah, a long time past, Adam and Eve had a descendant named Noah, who loved God with all of his heart. But the rest of the world had stopped listening to God. 
So the rest of the world had all kinds of sin. People were violent and very, very sinful. God was so unhappy that he decided to start all over with just one family. And that family was Noah's family because Noah's family was obeying God. Noah was obeying God. God said to Noah, get ready. God was going to send a flood to cover the whole earth. Now that's a lot of water, isn't it? God told Noah to build an enormous boat of strong wood because it was going to take a big boat and a strong boat, a boat that was built very, very good to stay in the water for a long time, wasn't it? 450 feet long. The boat should also have many floors with many rooms and a big door on the inside. He should put a roof on the top. People came from far around to laugh at Noah as he worked away. After all, Noah was building a boat in the desert. In the desert, they don't get a whole lot of rain, do they? So they were laughing at Noah. They didn't think that it was going to rain, so they laughed at him. When the boat was at last finished, God told Noah to gather every kind of animal. Two by two, Noah and his family loaded them into the boat. They divided the animals into the different rooms. God promised to keep everyone safe from the storm to come. So Noah built and built and built and built that ark and finally he had enough room for all the animals to get on the boat. Noah and his family went into the boat last. So they had to get all those animals in the boat first and they closed the door. Then it began to rain and rain and rain and rain and rain and you can see there's the ark. Noah's ark and there's all the water. It was raining and pouring more water and it was going to flood the entire earth and no mountains or anything would be would be seen when the rains came down and covered the entire earth. The ocean filled up and the sky poured down. The earth flooded for 40 days and 40 nights. That's a long time with the earth completely covered with water. Could you imagine that? The entire earth, there was no land at all. The boat rose higher and higher above the earth as the water grew deeper and deeper and deeper. Even the mountains became covered. So you could, there wasn't even no place on a mountain that you could stand. God did not forget Noah. He didn't forget Noah because Noah was faithful to God. At last the rain stopped and the waves became still. Noah sent a raven, there's the raven, the bird, to find dry land, but the bird came back. That means there was no dry land for the bird to land on, was there? So the bird had to come back to the ark. No dry land yet. And there's a fish, they're swimming around. The fish are probably happy with all that water, weren't they? Because they love it in the water. They don't need no land. Noah sent out a dove. The dove also came back, so everyone waited in the boat. When Noah sent out the dove a second time, it brought back a leaf. The earth was drying up. They knew that there was when they brought a leaf back that at least the tops of the tree were, were showing, the tops of the trees were showing. The third time, the dove did not come back. That means there was enough land out there for the bird, the dove, to stay out and they didn't need to come back to the boat. Noah knew that it was time. He opened the roof of the boat. And then, when God commanded, Noah opened the door so it had to be dry enough on the land that the animals could get out. Otherwise, if it was too wet, they'd still sink in the mud, wouldn't they? The animals were overjoyed to be on land again because then they could run for 40 days and 40 nights. They had no place to run, did they? They all had to be still and, 
and locked in that big boat. Noah and his family were grateful too. Everyone praised God. Then Noah built an altar where he gave, gave God gifts to thank him for keeping them safe. So they built an altar so they could say, thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe, for keeping the animals safe, for giving us food. God protected them that whole time, didn't he? God was faithful to Noah. Noah was faithful to God in building the ark and getting all those animals on there. God had made a new world. Then God made three promises to Noah. The first promise was that there would be always be seasons. Summer, autumn, winter, and spring. And those are the seasons that we get to enjoy. In some parts of the world, we, we enjoy those, those different uh, seasons more than others. Because some, some places in the world, it's like summer all, all year long or some places so it's like winter all year long and but there's a lot of places that they have summer where the where the all the grass and the leaves are green and there's beautiful flowers growing everywhere and autumn when the leaves turn brown and the grass turns brown everything kind of dries up and gets ready for winter and then winter comes when there's snow on the ground and then springtime comes when all the when all the leaves come out, there's new leaves and new flowers and new beginnings of the things that are growing outside. So that's a fun time when there's all these seasons to look forward to. Just like we're going from fall and you can see in the background that there's leaves that are turning pretty gold and silver and red and oranges and they're just so pretty this time of the year. And pretty soon it's going to be winter where we get lots of snow. God also said that there would always be night and day. And we get night and day, don't we? Daytime it's light out, and nighttime it is dark, except if the moon is out, and there might be a few stars that are twinkling in the sky. His last promise was that he would never ever again flood the whole earth. So God promised that never again would there be a flood. Nobody's going to have to build a big ark again. To make sure that the people never forgot the promise, God placed a beautiful rainbow in the sky. And the rainbow is of every color that we can imagine and think of. God put that rainbow in the sky. And the, the only thing that the rainbow means is God's promise to us. His promise that he was never ever going to flood the earth again. And that's what the rainbow means. It's God's promise to us, his people. A beautiful promise. God put a beautiful rainbow in the sky. So whenever you see a rainbow, no matter where it's at, that's what the rainbow means. It is God's promise to us that he was never going to put a flood on the earth again. Noah and his family began to make a new home. God blessed them and they had many children and grandchildren. It's always a blessing to have children and grandchildren. Rainbows reminded the people that God's love is gigantic and never has an end. And that is the end of the story of Noah. And isn't that a wonderful story? I could ask you what is your favorite part of that story. And there's so many stories, so many parts of that story that I just love. Beginning is when Noah had faith in the Lord and built that ark even though many, many people just thought he was there's something wrong with him because he was building this huge, huge boat in the middle of a desert. And then with all those animals, I don't know if it would be fun or not to have all those animals on a boat. Look at, think of how noisy it would be with all those animals making noises, the, the lions roaring, the dogs and barking and the cats meowing and the elephants making, making their noise and all the birds chirping. There'd be so many noises. I think it would be really, really noises. I wonder if God had them all be really quiet when they're on that boat. So what's the special thing that you like about Noah and his ark? Anything special that you can think of? And also the rainbow. The rainbow is special. So whenever we see a rainbow in the sky, we think of God's promises to us. 
God made a promise that he would never ever flood the earth again. And that's a wonderful promise from our Lord. So thank you so much for listening. I hope it was just as exciting for you to listen to this story as it is for me to read. I just enjoy reading these stories and just learning more about the Bible and God's people and the stories that God has to share with us. So thank you so much for listening. And please share with your brothers and sisters and cousins and neighbors and everybody because everybody needs to know the love of Jesus. So God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. And thank you so much for listening. We'll have another day of Children's Church tomorrow.